are boarding the plane. Not quite like that. My luggage is slipping. Okay, so here we are. We're on the plane. Boarding. It's not quite taking off, as you can see. Those items underneath your seat in front of you, this way we can accommodate everyone's bag. We appreciate it. We are a full flight today. Thank you so much. Going to the rental car center. Yeah. It's a blue line bus. Oh. Our luggage is right there. Go yep, right there. are still boring so it might be a little bit until we actually depart. So here we are bub. Long day, two flights. Rental car, hotel. In Boston. In Boston, here we are in the hotel. It's getting dark outside so we can't really show. We can maybe look out the window here a second. Maybe. Eating pizza and some chicken nuggets in there somewhere. It's like uh, 8.30, we're gonna go to bed, get up early and do all kinds of fun sightseeing. All right. Yum. It's pretty good? Yeah. Okay, James, here we are. Our first full day. Yep. We're here in Boston Common. I'm very impressed with this park because, well, the grass is extremely green. Mm-hmm. The only, the only bad news is that tomorrow, during the Red Sox game, it will rain. Yeah, we'll squirrel, have some rain tomorrow. Squirrel. Oh, yeah, there's a happy squirrel. There he is. Little squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Yeah, we're going to have some rain tomorrow. But today, it's going to be nice and sunny. Yep. Just like this. That's okay. We're taking a walk through the park in a nice man's hotel showed us a breakfast place not too far from here. Mm -hmm. What are we doing, bud? We are at a cafe, but we didn't get Dunkin'. No, no Dunkin' today. I'm not complaining. It was just a backup plan. Well, I think this is the first plan. I never had Dunkin' as our plan. It was a backup plan. You'll get Dunkin' in two days. We're going to the very first Dunkin' ever built. Wait, the original Duncan, yep. In on what day is today? Today Saturday on Monday. Monday morning. Where is it? It's not far from here. It's outside of town. Yeah, interesting. It's not inside Boston. It's ten minutes, fifteen minutes outside of Boston. So will we have to drive? Yeah, it's when we're leaving Boston. Boston, all the way out of town. We'll go. Really it's on our way. And we'll get donuts. Okay. With milk. Milk. Millmore sculptor, maybe. Yeah, maybe that was the person who dedicated it with that quote. It's the same as the sculptor. We're just walking on the Freedom Trail. There it is on the ground. We just saw the Park Street Church. We've been to Boston Common. Now let's see where the next one is. I think it's the Granary. Oh no, it's the Burying Ground. See to your left. It'd be pretty cool. If we were doing the haunted tours, they, they'd meet right in the middle. Oh, is that where they meet? Yeah. All right, well, we'll go check it out. They meet right in the middle. I don't know if it's the cemetery or the bird. Okay. Love
Ava. We just walked through Paul Revere's house. It was pretty cool. It was small. Yeah. The doorways were Dad had short. the duck. Yeah, we had, I had the duck. But it was a nice break because we got some water. Now, where are we? We're in front of a big church. This is the church that he was riding to on his famous nighttime ride. And there is a midnight ride. That's right. Two lanterns. Uh-huh. One if I see, or two if I, one if I land, two if I see, right? And so here's, yep. Who's this? What do you think that what could it have been? Hmm. A gummy? A candy? I don't know. A toy? No idea. Alright, let's keep going. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's not for sale. They even have functioning cores. Yeah. They have little flags. See, right over there? They have a flag. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Wonder where the captain is. When we're below deck, you're going to be proud. I know. Not anymore. It was. Oh, watch where you go. I wanna go below deck. Okay. Let's try and find You probably wanna go backwards like them, buddy. You want me to go first? That's fine. Go as slow as you can. As slow as you want. No rush. You want to go down one more level? Yeah, right here. Watch out if anybody's down there. There may be, yeah, maybe another level, who knows? I saw there's going to be another level lower. Really? Let's go look it up here. Stand up for this second. <laughs> uh, I think it's just because we're getting through the stern of the ship. Well, before we go up, I want to ask, I want to see the front of the ship. Okay. So, it's sailed. And at the bottom, it's an email, so you need to get their hair cut off. <laughs> so, what is the lesson? Don't be tired. Don't be a tyrant. Pretty good lesson. Walk around the commons once we're done with our ice cream and 
we'll be we'll head we'll head back to the hotel and have a good night's rest. Yep. I think it said ice cream. Well, we are here with our ice cream. There's people playing music. I'm the only one who smells popcorn. We're on a bridge. And we're circling around the park, about to head back to the hotel. And I finished mine. And I'm still eating. All right, pal, we're here at the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. At the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. On a rainy day. On a rainy day. On a humid day with a little light drizzle. Creepiest thing in the world. You think so? They need to add one more thing to make it the creepiest thing hmm. in the world. What? Middle of the night. Middle of the night. With rain. It's pouring in the middle of the cemetery. You can't see. But there's nothing scary about ghost stalkers. So we're in Concord, Massachusetts at Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. John Potter. Yeah, well, I think we're... Here is Henry David Thoreau and other Thoreau family members. Looks like people have left pens and pencils. One of which is from the Salem Witch Museum. It's the orange one, don't touch it. Here's Henry David Thoreau's tomb with people leaving various different Is Henry the most famous? Yes. Here's some sort of Is Henry monument marker. Was Henry assassinated? No. Right. So now here's the Hawthorns, Nathaniel Hawthorne, another author. And here's Louisa May Alcott. Another one with little pens and paint pens. Oh God. Who's Ralph Waldo? Emerson. What did he write? He wrote a variety of essays. He was a very famous essayist and lecturer. He and Henry David Thoreau were friends. Really? Mm-hmm. Who died first? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I always thought Emerson was older. What was that? Oh, and there finally is Ralph Waldo Emerson. Oh, hi. Hi. Minuteman, National Historic Park. We already went to the other side. Is this is this a video? Yeah, it's a video. So say hi to the video. Hi, video. All right. <laughs> Got that penny whistle? Miniman National Historic Park was the starting place of the American Revolution. Here, the resolve of citizens willing to risk their lives for the ideals of liberty and self-determination was instrumental in the formation of the American identity. The park preserves sites where colonial militia men and British soldiers clashed on April 19th, 1775. Remember, because Paul Revere left April 18th, midnight ride, a force of 700 British regulars left Boston to seize military supplies stockpiled in Concord. Alarm riders alerted the countryside. In area towns, militia companies assembled, ready to defend their communities and their liberties if necessary. A brief but bloody skirmish on Lexington Green, 5 o'clock a.m., left eight colonists dead. At North Bridge, 9.30, the first ordered firings by colonists upon British troops killed two British soldiers, with a third mortally wounded. As the British soldiers marched back towards Boston, colonial militia companies poured in. Fighting erupted along, quote, the Battle Road, which is what we just drove as nearly 4,000 colonists unleash an incessant fire upon the British regulars. At the end of the day, the colonists surrounded and laid siege to Boston. The Revolutionary War had begun. 
the North Bridge. Three companies of British regulars, about 96 men, guarding the North Bridge, opened fire upon 400 colonists advancing from the opposite side. Major John Buttrick of Concord then issued the fateful command, fire, fellow soldiers, for God's sakes, fire. For the first time, colonists were ordered to fire upon the army of their king, and for the first time, they killed British soldiers. What? Ralph Waldo Emerson, in his 1837 poem, The Concord Hymn, immortalized the event as the shot heard round the world. Guess what? What? You know, there, I remember seeing a John Buttrick at the cemetery. Uh-huh. What? I think you're getting better. You want to see the grave of British soldiers? They're over here. Wait, are you filming me? Yes. Oh. You're getting better. Okay. We'll be able to now document your progress. I'll try the national anthem again. Oh, what's the British anthem? God save the queen. Good afternoon and welcome to Fenway Park, America's most beloved ballpark, for today's game between the New York Yankees and your Boston Red Sox. Pizza, hamburger fries, uh, some lemonades, some cotton candy, some M&Ms. I haven't had M&Ms. That was just me, I guess, huh? And we are in the second inning, I think, at this point. Yeah, second inning, so... Who's winning? Uh, nobody. So, <laughs> scoreless right now. I think we're we're at the top of the six. Well, we left at the top of the six, and two Yankees are two up. Red Sox are zero, sadly. <laughs> but there's still a chance for them to bring it back. We're gonna get pretzels right over here. The uh -huh. line is long. Yep. <laughs> Here we are, Monday morning, Monday, July 26th. The moment I've been waiting for. Uh-huh. Does it taste just like the Hanford Dunkins? Uh-uh. How so? It tastes better. Tastes even better? So we're here at the first Dunkin' ever built, the original Dunkin' location, having Dunkin' Donuts. And they're pretty good. Okay, pal, here we are walking to the Miles Standish Monument. Is that my penny whistle? With your penny whistle? That I used to entertain myself. Uh-huh. 
We're in the vicinity of Duxbury, Massachusetts. So this house is relatively a little larger, and it has a shed, but there's no crops. Okay. All of these have crops, and also this one, this, this last one has wood. All of them have wood. Do you see the big one at the end of the street? Yeah. That's the community room. We'll take a look at it. I'd say I'd like to live right here. There's a pile of wood and a little sheep <laughs> and a little garden. <laughs> there's a little sheep. That's funny. All right, let's go outside. Let's read what it says. Under a mantle of white pine, black oak, holly, and maple trees, enter upon a woodland path that winds through time and place. Saplings emerge through underbrush, thatched so with flourishing vines. A cast of woodland wildlife inhabits this organic theater. Maybe you will catch sight of a red-winged blackbird, gray squirrel, chickadee, or turkey. You are journeying through Patuxet. The name that native people gave this coastal land thousands of years ago, long before the arrival of the pilgrims. Bye -bye. This environment is in the process of being restored to so immerse you in the natural world of Patuxet. Berries. Lots of berries on the ground. Oh, those are wrinkles. It's just because they're old. The pilgrims, none of them are living long enough to get wrinkles, right? So there's this really big dichotomy. Yeah. I remember this one. Well, now it's on the stick or stone. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. All right, but we'll go this way. So imagine a hundred people on this boat for weeks. Would that seem fun to you? Oh, really? Everybody, here we are, Provincetown, Massachusetts. Tuesday, July 27, at Liz's Cafe. Getting some breakfast. Then we're gonna go look around the town. And then we're gonna go, there's a little map in this magazine here somewhere. We're gonna go to- you lost it already? No, it's in the back somewhere. Anyways, we will then do some trails on the beach after that, at the National Seashore and then drive a little more back towards our hotel, but not all the way, and then do another trail, and then depending on what time it is, see what the rest of the day has in store for us. We're probably gonna go to the exercise. The what? Exercise. Maybe. We can go to the pool if we have enough time. Maybe what we do tonight is we order pizza into the hotel so we don't have to go out. Yeah, we should, I saw a guy order pizza. Yeah, I saw that too. So maybe think of it. So we could order pizza, and should we swim or do the exercise room? Yeah, we'll see. We'll swim. figure it out. Swim will last longer, but exercise room is more productive. Yeah, um, we'll see. Right, I really like that water slide. I, I know you did. I went out on it like 20 times, right? You went out a bunch. Oh my God. pretty big. The brownie and cookies? Yeah. Yeah. I actually didn't see how big the cookies were. I only saw the picture. But I, they, they must just add a lot of chocolate. Uh huh. I thought those office tea cereals were pretty funny. Okay, bud. So we're here at Cape Cod National Seashore. We're taking. A walk, a 0.8 mile walk down to Race Point Beach. Yeah. There's an old life-saving building there that we're gonna check out. Oh, I heard some people talking about that. Yeah, I'll let you see the pamphlet. The pamphlet's in the car, I put it back in the car when we get back to the car. 
so you can read all about it. We're talking about a life saving thing, and the, but they were saying it wasn't open. Yeah, it might it might be closed, but we can at least see the building. It's like a popular bike trail. Yeah. Downhill, so it'd be fast. Yeah, this part would be. There is still sand here. So too bad the station isn't still here. Is it on active station? I don't know. It kind of looks like, I mean, there's a truck out there. The, they've got a door open. It looks well maintained. I like it. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. How would you like to live there? If it was a house. It might have actually housed people. Kind of like a firehouse, like a fire station, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, the entire thing is closed. Yeah, we can get, we can look at it from here, though. Hey, bud. So we're here at Cape Cod National Seashore still. We're at a different location, further down the Cape. I think they call this the Outer Cape. We just looked at the Marconi I'm... communication site. You're okay. gonna take the you're gonna take that the side on the left. So which one should we do? Stairs? I'm gonna do the stairs. It's right in front of me. I'm not gonna overthink it. Let's see. I'm gonna do both. Anyways, we saw the site where the first. I said I'm gonna do both. Okay, great. Where the first wireless communication in the in the world took place, transatlantic wireless communication took place in 1901. Now we're doing a little hike over to a place called. The White Cedar Swamp. Ooh. And it's a pretty interesting little forest. Jaws himself. Okay, James Logan, here we are. I think it's Wednesday, July 28th. New Bedford, New Bedford Massachusetts. This is uh, a famous whaling town. This is also where Ishmael came at the there's beginning a, of Moby Dick. There's also an auction, right? Uh-huh. Huh. Moby Dick must be really popular around here. I bet. <laughs> After breakfast, we'll go to that museum, the oh, whaling that? museum. Mm-hmm. The one with the squid. Cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Dude, I never saw a squid. It looks kind of cool. Look at this happy sperm whale. Not having any idea what might be uh, in store for him. He's just pointing his head out. Yep. out of a whale's mouth. Mm-hmm. 
Nope. Yep, just those few changes. So that's a whole bottle of sperm oil there. Sperm oil. Winter sperm. Yeah, maybe that's a different kind. It's a different kind. Below deck. Well, here we are on the Logoda, a recreation of a whaling boat. Well, maybe I should say where we are at a whale museum. Whale museum. Yep. The new Bedford Whaling Museum. We had a great breakfast. Dad's ducking because we're in such a tight spot here. It's a pretty impressive model for fitting it inside a building. Look at all the sails, the technical sails. Mm hmm. Having to know what all those ropes do. What's that? Perfectly in here. Yeah. Oh. For now, if we came back next year, you wouldn't. If it perfectly there, I can stand up straight. I can do both. Okay, let's see. Pretty good. And then I can do this. Yeah, that's how Well, they spent so much time at sea that it really wouldn't have been worthwhile to invest all the money and keep, keep all the resources needed for a house. They can make a house out of whale oil. That's true, out of whale oil. So this is the actual church that Herman Melville was referring to when Ishmael came and heard a sermon. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. That pulpit was not original, but he described it in that way in the book, so they built it to reflect as the description in the book. So this is the exact sermon he heard? This is the spot. What did the sermon say? It was essentially a warning by using Jonah, it was a foreshadowing about the danger that Ishmael would face and sort of the struggle between man and nature and, and life and death and sort of much of the same themes, the sort of allegorical themes that are spread throughout the rest of the book are condensed into the sermon. It's one of the best, one of my favorite parts of the book, actually. You don't have your mask on. Well, because I'm fully vaccinated. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Spelled it perfectly too. Maybe they didn't want people staying around too long. Or maybe they'd hide them from the good stuff. That's true. Mm, uh, that's a tiny bathtub. See that, see that tiny bathtub? Uh-huh. What? Oh, maybe your feet. Mm. For the book. They were walking there. Yep. Quite beautiful. Wait, no, I'd say I'm like, oh, shit. Were you going the same way? 
What's he saying? Thank you for practicing. Oh, that's what he's telling us? He's saying, hey, this is six feet apart from one of my hands to the other hand. All right, James. So are these people reenacting old stores? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like they're reenacting like at Plymouth the same way. All right, here we are. Thursday, July 29th. And we're at Mystic Seaport. It's a recreated shipping village. Go check it out. See what, see what it is. Huh. Uh -huh. So it's a recreated shipping and fishing village here in Mystic, Connecticut. They have a variety of historical ships. And I saw some old stores. They have some stores, yeah, they have some buildings. Well, like this one, you wanna check a look at this? What is it? I wanna take a look. Ah, oh, cool. Yep, yeah, little baby. That's what we would do with you. If we lived here, if mommy and I lived here, we'd put an adorable paint with you holding Mickey. That looks like a more like a five-year-old to me. Oh, okay. Well. That's a part of the shit. Um, I think it's your favorite part of the shit. Um, how do they work this? There's this hole in everything. It's for the fuse. Same as the last one. You put the gunpowder in from the top. You stamp it down. Why are the wheels wooden? Put a fuse in first. Why does it have wheels? So you can wheel it around. It's hard so it can be moved. Because if you're getting it on ship, off a ship, move from one location to the next while it's on land. But to shoot down upon them is a very different thing. Now, it was plainly a labor of love for Captain Sleep to describe, as he does, all the little detailed conveniences of his crow's nest. But, but though he so enlarges upon many of these, and though he treats us to a very scientific account of his experiments in the crow's nest, with a small compass kept there for the purpose of a ton of filters, Marla, Bow requires a little lower layer. If money to be the measurer of man, and the accountants have computed their great counting house to blow by girdling it with guineas, one to every three parts of an inch, then let me tell thee that my vengeance will fetch a great premium here. He smites his chest, whispered Stubb. What's that for? He thinks it rains most fast, but all of it. I'm gonna take this and see if I can smell the pot. What's it smell like? Well, it kind of smells like blackberries. All right, bud. So today is Friday, July 30th. Here's another guy. Yep. We're way up there at the top where it points right there. Where? Right there, that little knob. Look to your left, up there the hill. See the tower? That's the real tower. What? what? What's the real tower? That's, That's the tower that they're simulating is that little knob there. So? So, this is the highest point in Massachusetts. It's Mount Greylock, 3,491 feet above sea level. Not much taller than a spruce. Got a little 
All right, let's go up to the top. Let's go. I'm taller than it. Okay. Inside? I don't know. Maybe not during Corona. I just saw people come out. Oh, guess we can then. Yep. Stay. Let's go to the top. Fire upstairs. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey buddy, high five. Good job. Beautiful. Isn't it? I see porta bodies. What else do you see other than porta bodies? Porta bodies, rooms, okay. satellite tower, that dining room we were at. This is easier, yeah. This is like a kid's spider. Yeah. <laughs> That's a torch. Oh. Kind of like an eternal flame. This is a war monument. What's that, bud? What's that? Also known as Mass Mocha. See what it says up on top of that building? Yep. Sorry. Sorry. It's supposed to have so my new art. Mm -hmm. Current art, that's what the contemporary means. I don't know what that is. Meaning stuff that's being created right now. This is current art by current artists who are still alive and still creating. Which one do you prefer? Current art or old art? I like to do a little bit of both. That's why we did some fine art, traditional museums with all sorts of art dating back 5,000 years in some cases. But then we also went, we're going Basquiat. here. And then yeah, I had Basquiat, which is certainly more modern. And now we're going to a contemporary art museum. Looks like it's in an old factory or something. We have people staring at ice. Wait, it's all the seasons. It's all the seasons. Think so? Yeah, don't touch it. Look, Take your finger off. Watch. Uh -huh. First it was winter. I see Look. spring. Yes, spring. Summer. Summer. Then there's... And then it's all dime. So that's fall. Fall. And the end is... Looks like it's gotten burnt out. And then kind of back to winter. It's about colors. Does it? Because look, like geometry colors. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Not as cool as the last one, though. Yeah, but it's cool in its own way. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I was being annoying. It was just too much. Oh, that was alright. That was a, that was a. There's a lot of intense sensation going on. I couldn't handle it. Okay. This one's the This is nice and airy and light. Looks like a green house. Yeah. Pretty cool. I could just 
There's a whole new group. Oh, the ones that were like under the ledge? Yeah. yeah. What, why are you on the ground? Oh, there's one. Rock. Let's see how fast it moves. It's probably just in the same though. Probably. And not there. I'm going down to the Greyhound station Gonna get a ticket to ride Gonna find that lady with two or three kids And sit down by her side Ride till the sun comes up and down around me About two or three times Smoking cigarettes in the last seat Try to hide myself from the people I meet And get along with it all Going where people say, oh, sing a song blast the cannon wall or the walls of the fort. Change the shape of a man and get back in the game. Start playing again. I'd like to stay, but I might have to go to start over again. All right, James, it's Saturday, July 31st, day eight, maybe. We're going to eat on those picnic tables. Well, we're going to eat back in the cafe, probably. But we're going to eat all, we're gonna bring our food to the picnic tables. I guess we can. Yay! If they let us take it to go, I don't know. It might be on, like, trays and stuff. Anyways, here we are at Fort Ticonderoga. We've already, we've already taken the tour of the fort, and now we're going to take a boat tour around Lake Champlain. Of the fort! Hopefully, we're not quite as spazzy on the boat tour, but we'll find out. We're about to see, aren't we? Boat tours, this way. Get used to being alone. Change your words to the song. Start singing again. James! Woo. I'm tired of running around looking for answers to questions that I already know. I am, are you? I'm good. Hold on to your hat. <laughs> I will. I may take it off. Looks like we're kind of enclosed a little bit. Be your guide and also if you're interested in getting anything to drink or eat they'll take care of that for you um, just real quick when we're pulling away from the dock and coming back in you need to be seated besides that you can get up and walk around go out front here at any time there's a speaker out there you'll still hear Ethan talking uh, we do have a restroom in the back there on the left side so the aid water travel is very very important this port guards the key the entire continent Slow-mo video. Is it slow-mo? Does it look slow-mo? Is it slow-mo? Does it look like you're going slow-mo? Is it 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 slow
slow-mo? You can't tell when you're taking the video. It's, it's, it's this slow-mo. Okay, so this is... beverages in the bag but dad won't let us have it that's true because we're having lunch right after this that's true no hey you're right those both, we are not going to have food and beverages here and we are going to have lunch right after right when we get back and that's basically it for now but i'm not going to end this video because i need something to do confession. Dad's tired. How do you feel about this? Being tired? Keep it, keep it further away. This has been an interview. That's less than a month since the war broke out. On April 19th, down to the election in Massachusetts. So the garrison at Fort Ticonderoga is still relatively small. British garrison, only 29 infantry, British 26 regiments. Two artillerists and some civilians bring the force of defenders up to about 50. 50 versus 220. Even if a 50 are in a defensible position, it seems to be a pretty one-sided fight. However, police didn't cooperate that evening. Okay, James. It's Sunday, August 1st. We're having world famous apple cider donuts. Apple cider donuts here in Stowe, Vermont at the Cold Hollow Cider Mill. Pretty cool, very busy. Yeah. All right. But we haven't what? But we got out there faster. Yeah, that was actually it was the line went really quickly. We got a variety of things. We got some apple butter, we got some maple butter, we got some maple syrup. We got a dozen donuts, and then we got a shirt for James, and a candle for mom. And now James is gonna take his first bite of a donut. Wait, you got the milk candle? I got an apple spice candle, since it was an apple store. It's good. Is it good? What's it taste like? Apple cider. Okay, Fried I'm... apple cider. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's a little spicy. <laughs> Am I going to start sweating because it's so spicy? Yeah. Not that kind of spicy. It's like apple spicy. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a certain cookie, but I can't place it. I, I'm hearing that too. Do you think we're still going to have some left by the time we get home? No. They wouldn't survive. Plus, that's like a week from now. That's a week from today. They'd be all stale. Ah. I'm not done yet. I need a button this. No, it's alright. You're you're good. I'm not taking any chances. Is this all cold? You're good, bud. Let's keep going. Oh, look at the cow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. We maybe go back to the car, I guess, but we'll have a scoop right now. Wait, what? It doesn't make any sense. What? Just because it's cold outside? No, it's because, like, why now? Well, because we're here. We'll never be here again, so this is, this is our opportunity to do it. So we're gonna get ice cream. Why not? And eat it. What else do you do? What else do you do with ice cream? Now. I don't see how this got to be so confusing. Like, why would you do it at lunch? Like, why would you do it like after breakfast? We don't have to. We Never mind. To. Uh, okay. You can go right back to the car. We can just hang out in the rain for a while. I'm trying to get my jacket wet. I think I'm ninth with the American dream. Okay. Here we are at Ben and Jerry's. You have the chocolate therapy. It's like all sorts of chocolate. How triple it? chocolate. It's like triple chocolate. I had the American dream, kind of a classic. We just had apple donuts down the road. And now we're having ice cream. Uh-huh. And it's 11.09 in the morning. Pretty unhealthy. That's okay. We're on vacation. So, we'll hang out here for a little bit. And then we'll go see the town where Beetlejuice was filmed. Yeah. That's pretty good. There we go. What? <laughs> Frozen yogurt, though. Oh, never mind. You don't care. <laughs> uh, Dave Matthews bands. Where? Magic brownies. The first edition was too vanilla, so we more or less remixed it. The encore was raspberryer, but not enough, so we deep sixed it. Oh yeah. Cake batter. That one's actually sounds. Ridiculous. I know. It was interesting. That one got retired. Lions. Cool building. Yeah, impressive. Nice. High five. <laughs> Let's go. Got tickets. Oh, we'll get him up here. Oh, but he's cute. Okay, let's go find it. It's okay. outside, right? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. It's at the We're not quite ready yet, so we gotta wait. <laughs> wait till okay. uh, just about eight thirty. We'll be ready to go then. So, okay. Uh, my name's Eli. I'll be your brake man, and uh, that means I'm in the coach with you guys. Don't really have to do too much with the brakes on the way up. More important on the way down. So. Okay, get your rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your rest. All right, we're all set. Get ready for a smooth burst of acceleration, folks. Chug it now. Here we go. <laughs> Seated. 
puddle down down there. Puddle? Like just get back down below this like you were. Here, we can put this guy back up. Degree wind chill, wind chill is what it is. Eating our snacks, got some hot chocolate, some Kit Kats, an apple, and some other things. Our train leaves in another half hour, 40 minutes or so. We'll hang out here, maybe go step outside just to feel the, feel the extreme weather. Yeah, I like to go outside. Yeah, check it out. It's going to be freezing, it's going to be really cold and really windy. You see that, see that fog blowing against the. I like to go outside tomorrow. Well, all right. Same ones, they just reversed it. Or A, B, or two. Yeah. I feel so alive. I just ran around in a t-shirt and shorts in this. That's crazy. There you go. Uh huh. That's how it works. It's kind of like a bicycle chain. You're being powered by this. Uh huh. There's a steam engine train, and it would push it up. The cogs. But it wasn't as fast as this. Oh, it never made it that fast. It was like this. Yeah, I felt like it. It could have been this. Yeah. By the railroad track Where the train whistle will And I will ride back Papa left mama when I was quite young Said now one of these days you follow me son She was my world Yeah, and I ran off with a backstreet girl I'm a backstreet hey. woman It's not be true It's raining Better go back to the car Left me standing on the boulevard still Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
sure. I'm going over to the other side. What is it? Oh, I think it's just a little, just a little spot they made. They said it's a wolf. Well, maybe we'll see a wolf. Make it, don't worry. Perfect. All right. Are you gonna come through this? Yeah. So we just went through a wolf's den. We squeezed through there. Zooming in. Dad barely made it. Uh huh. And I, I was scared at first, but I found out the trails up here, so we didn't need to go back. It is very narrow and it's kind of a squeeze. Yeah, but it was really awesome. Yeah. Am I videoing? Videoing? Yeah. yeah, I'm videoing. Oh, hi. I Do you have anything to say to the videoing? I found a berry. Found a berry. And, and this is the main part of our trip. We're going on how many hikes? Three or four. Four hikes. We're here in Bar Harbor, Maine. And the hikes are going to be easy. Yep. It's Wednesday, August. Perfect weather. Fourth. Great weather. Perfect weather, that's right. Tomorrow's gonna be less than perfect weather. That's why we're doing our outdoorsy stuff today. And then tomorrow we can explore the town we in relative of, comfort. I'd rather stay at the hotel, but. You're gonna, well, first of all, we need food. We don't have food. We can go out for food, but. but that's I, it, that's the only. Uh, I don't wanna just like shop for t shirts in the rain. <laughs> well. I, I don't wanna. I don't want you to be carrying shopping bags getting drenched. <laughs> you make it sound so pitiful. Yes, it is. I really don't want to go out in the rain. Okay. <clears throat> That's why I want to stay back at the hotel playing with my toys. Uh-huh. Let's cross the street, bud. Isn't it? What was 
love it. I just want to go back up the mountain. I don't like pictures. Well, uh, no pictures for mommy, huh? Inside that misty garden, flower here. There's always more. Find my fatal flowers. I'll find you in the same. But it's such a cute smile. It's cute. So you adorable. Mean, you're calling me small. No, really. Well, maybe it is a small smile. Maybe that's exactly what I meant. Is that on right? Oh, there we go. This is Dad. We're in a, we're in a trunk. We are in a trunk, aren't we, as a matter of fact? We sure are. About to go on a hike across Walden Pond. <laughs> Not Walden. Something Pond. And that's it. We had Walden another day. That was a different day. But we didn't walk around it. Walden? No, it was raining. That's Dad. And Dad has been talking about camper vans. Yep. Because he saw he saw two camper vans, and now he's been talking about them. He's guilty. Guilty as charged. That's okay. And right now he's doing very important camera stuff. Yep. And he has old keys from this morning, sitting on the top of the car. It's really gross. Okay. That's basically it. That's that's it in a nutshell, huh? And we're, we're doing how many more hikes? Three. Oh Three more hikes after this. Well, bye. Hey, float. Time to make a boat. Before you start the hike. Well, it's hard to be a postman in my. Oh, I don't think this one's too bad. It's a pretty wide bridge. Oh, yeah. Sure. I don't know if you're allowed to, though. Uh huh, that's cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's two. Or three. Oh, there's a baby one. See it? Whoa, there's another one. How many are there? A tadpole nest?
My legs are in. Well, I shouldn't say destroyed. My legs are in much pain. <laughs> Yeah, those look alright. They don't look like the best, but they're waves. You're a wave Oh, there's some. Look, there's some others forming. Yeah. Way out there. Maybe we should go down to get a better look. Look, look back there, behind that wave. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, you're right. Look at that big one. There it comes. Woo! Looks like you're the trophy. I don't think you could bug these. Is this it? That's it. Is this like a sinkhole? Does it like blow you? That's what it does. But it does it more powerfully at different tide levels. Is that it? Probably does bigger ones at some point. Whoa, this one's got to be good. Knew okay. it. It's so cool. What's that, dude? We're getting chips. <laughs> I don't know what's so hard. We're getting chips. I might don't understand it when it's just so easy. It's, it's not that hard. It's just chips. Plain tortilla chips. We're getting chips. What if I want crab dip? You do not want crab dip. Chips are better. But I kind of want crab dip. <laughs> you don't. Chips are better. It's plain tortilla chips. All right. Yes. Totally tricked you. Choose your thing. Yeah, huh? Choose your thing on the menu for your kids' menu. What? Choose what you're gonna get on the kids' menu. Though. Okay, bud. It's Thursday, August 5th. It is a rain day. Today it's raining. It's going to rain forecasted all day today. So we're going to stay in the hotel the entire day, but we're going to breakfast. We're walking to breakfast right now. But we're going to stay in the rain all day. Yep. I we're, mean, hotel. Yes. We're, we're going to have kind of a rain day. So we're going to watch TV and I'm going to use some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Some of the toys that we've been accumulating from our souvenir stops. We're in Bar Harbor, Maine. We spent all day, yeah, we spent all day yesterday out and about doing hikes and what have you. So today, we get to relax back at the hotel and kind of watch the rain go by. It's kind of fun. Don't walk around. Well, we gotta walk to get breakfast, then we'll probably have little lunch snacks in our room and then come back out for dinner, and that'll be our day. <laughs> the reason I don't want I'm not putting my head on, and it's easier to comb my hair. Put your hood on, bud. What? Are you allowed in the lighthouse? What's that? Are you allowed in the lighthouse? Probably not inside. It's really small, isn't it? But the building will open up in 10, 15 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes. but it just said ear protection required. Oh. Can we only see it from the outside? I think we'll be able to go inside real quick. So this is the largest Earth. globe in the world. It's called the Eartha globe. It's made out of concrete. Here in Freeport, Maine. Does it spin? I don't know. I hope it spins. We just went to the fanciest McDonald's in the world for lunch. Must be These are the kind of stops that just tour guides won't just take you on. These are the kind of special stops that you gotta really know what you're doing. Yeah. Fancy McDonald's and Big Globes. Yeah. Pretty impressive, huh?
seems a little dramatic. For a ridiculous notion that was a fantasy. Caused by a couple of teenagers pooping off in one tattling. Are they buried here? No, they're buried down in town. Yeah, people have little gifts. Are they related? The people or the people who left the gifts? Probably not. And they show you the the method of execution. So, for example, one of the guys was pressed. He was squeezed to death. Sarah, good. Yep. Hanged. Yeah, I think it's the same year. Oh, hanged. Yeah. So he did them in like again four or five different months: June, July, September, October, all in 1692. It was ended. They eventually. A group of merchants from Boston started writing letters saying, hey, you guys are, this is ridiculous. You're going... Too Actually, far? the guy who, there's a famous letter, he used a little bit of irony and a little bit of sort of sarcasm to point out sort of the hypocrisy going on among the Puritans. And enough people said, hey, this is, the government shouldn't be doing yeah, this. I really need to read this. They ultimately... Finished talking then The I'm governor good. withdrew the order which established the, the okay. temporary court. Let's go, let's go. Okay, good. Move faster. Oh, I gotta move. Move really fast. Then move faster. I wanna get it out of here. Spooky music isn't good. Can you get through that hole? I'll meet you out there. No, Dad, don't leave me. Well, I can't go through that hole. I so, no, I just. I can get through this one. I'll wait for me in the other room. Step. Let's go back through this little curtain. Duck. I want your hand bad. It's scary. Do you want to see what this egg does? No, don't. All right. We, okay. Let's go. That was a little dramatic, though, wasn't it? <laughs> but it was spooky. I don't like the people. I don't like there's so many talking. Boarding. We are approving the boarding process for your flight and the door is closing in two minutes. 